Repent and believe in the gospel. It's Lenten Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace C. Amet, a selection of Don Bosco. Come back to the Lord with all your heart. Stay tuned. Come back to me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It is Tuesday, the 2nd of March, 2021, second week of Lent, and the 12th day of our Lenten observance. We are on the 12th day. We are remaining with 28 days before we conclude our Lenten observance. And the word of God today is asking us to learn humility, accept our frailty, accept where we have gone wrong, and go for the mercy of God that is ready to accept anyone, ready to turn away from evil deeds. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy. And since without you, mortal humanity is sure to fall, may we be kept by your constant help from all harm and directed to all that brings salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading will be taken by Jennifer Chabumwewa, a daily bread member from Lusaka, Zambia. The theme of the reading is Learn to do good and seek justice. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 10 and verses 16 to 20. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the teaching of our God, you people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, defend the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now. Let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gospel passage will be taken by Reverend Deacon Leo Camp, a daily bread member and a permanent deacon from the Archdiocese of Durban in South Africa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew chapter 23, verses 1 to 12. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat, so do and observe whatever they tell you, but not the works they do. For they preach, but do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on people's shoulders but they themselves are not willing to move them with their finger. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long, and they love the place of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplaces and being called rabbi by others. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher and you are all brothers. 
and call no man your father on earth, for you have one Father who is in heaven. Neither be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Christ. The greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The passage we have read today in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 10 and then 16 to 20 belongs to Isaiah himself who lives in the 8th century. We have to understand when we are reading prophet Isaiah, it is divided into three parts. Chapter 1 to chapter 39 of prophet Isaiah belongs to Isaiah himself, who lived around 765 BC, long before the Babylonian exile of 587 BC, long before the exile of the northern kingdom that took place around 7. 20 somewhere there. Now, Isaiah lived at a time when there was certain prosperity in the southern kingdom, and he scored towards the end of the reign of Uzziah. After the death of Uzziah, he is called to go and proclaim the word. He is converted, he is purified, and he even complains and said, How can I? A man who lives among people with unclean lips. And I myself, having unclean lips, go and proclaim the word to them. The Lord says, you go ahead. These people have strayed from my path. And I ask you to go and proclaim the word, the good news to them, that they may transform. What was the social setting at the time? The rich were oppressing the poor. And they didn't even bother about social justice. Somehow even ignoring things of God. These people are the ones that Isaiah comes to refer to as the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. Because at the time of prophet Isaiah, if somebody says, you people of Gomorrah, if somebody says, you people of Sodom, It was an insult. It was like being told you cannot change. You cannot transform. There is nothing that can change in you. And you will end up in destruction because that's exactly what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Moral decadence was just at its peak. Nobody cared about anything. Nobody cared about any transformation. People could take anything as all right. And at the time Isaiah was preaching this, Sodom and Gomorrah were already destroyed. But still, the life of Sodom and Gomorrah continued even after those cities were destroyed, as it has continued to this day. We have Sodom and Gomorrah among our young people who don't care even when they are bought. They don't see anything bad about it. We have Sodom and Gomorrah in marriages where people don't even have respect for the sacredness of marriage. We have Sodom and Gomorrah in our workplaces where corruption seems to be the norm of the day. We have Sodom and Gomorrah everywhere today. But you know what? The message of Isaiah applies to us today. It's not that we want to be reprimanded always over this, but we want to take the opportunity we have now in this Lenten period to transform. Because Isaiah does not just end at reprimanding these people, no. He speaks the word of God and he says, this is what God says. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, They shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like cool. If you are willing to be obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. The Lord says, I don't care how your past has been. 
I don't care if you have been in Sodom and Gomorrah in your past. Let this Lenten period be a period of transformation where you have to change your attitude. You have to change your approach to the way you look at things, to the way you treat other people, to the way you change from raise a attitude. I don't care attitude to an attitude where you are concerned about how you relate to your God and how you relate to other people. Stop living a life of impressing just other people by showing off. No, be somebody who means transformation. And this is the concern of Jesus in the gospel passage of today. When he condemns the leaders, the Pharisees and scribes who sit on the chair of Moses, they had a show of kind of approach to religion. He says, I don't want that. I want you people to learn to humble yourselves because pride won't take you anywhere. Pride will keep you in Sodom and Gomorrah. But you have to acknowledge that there is God who transforms, who changes everything and let God be the focus and not human beings. Do not allow yourself to be the focus. That is why he says, do not call anyone on earth rabbi. For you have only one teacher, and do not call anyone on earth father. For you have only one father who is in heaven. Neither be called masters, for you have only one master, the Christ. That Christ should be the center. Christ should be the message we preach. Christ should be the reason why we are ready to move away, to turn away from the sinful ways in order to be clean before him. Not any human being, not any one of us. We should learn to move away from Sodom and Gomorrah and humble ourselves and say, yes, I know I have gone wrong somewhere and I want the transforming power of Christ to be in my life. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Tuesday to you. Thanks be to God. Come back to me. Thank you.